Today we'll be reading The Advent of Hyperspace Travel from The Tales of the Jedi Companion by George R. Straton. The discovery of hyperspace travel more than 20,000 years ago changed the galaxy forever. As beings began to journey to other worlds, a system of barter and trade arose, solidifying over the centuries into established space lanes marked by hyperspace jump beacons. Soon, these worlds grew to rely on one another, forming a vast symbiotic relationship. As new star systems at the fringes of the informal trade network decided to join in galactic exchange, the fledgling community of worlds continued to expand. But shortly after the establishment of standard space lanes, unscrupulous beings, lured by the promise of quick wealth, started preying on the laden cargo ships that plied the trade routes. The most common tactic was to set up a false jump beacon, or to alter the programming of an existing beacon, with jump coordinates that would send unwary trade ships into the empty reaches of deep space. For common defense and the establishment of more formal trade agreements and enforcement as the need arose, a democratic union of star systems formed shortly thereafter, the Republic. The galactic government has had a long and complex history, a tale best left for another, larger compendium. Suffice it to say that the forces of the light and the dark have waged a relentless war, each constantly seeking to topple the other. There have been times of peace and times of strife, times of expansion and times of seclusion. But through it all, a single light has shone across the galaxy, the Jedi Knights. The Jedi have fought many battles over the millennia. Here we recount only one of those conflicts, an era where the long-extinct Sith rose again and the fate of the galaxy rested in the hands of a few Jedi apprentices. Ah, uh, tell it to us again, said Roop, the youngest and most excitable of the three. Bedrin Veb struggled to lift himself out of the padded chair next to the hearth. No, no, he said, the words stretching out as he forced himself to his feet. It's well past your sleep time as it is. I don't think your parents would appreciate my keeping you up any later. Roop huffed and thrust out his lower lip, crossing his arms in disgust. But after only a moment, as if suddenly inspired, he turned to his older brother and sister and gave them his best look of pleading. Bedrin suppressed a chuckle at the sudden change in tactic. Nara, the eldest, knelt on one knee to bring her eyes even with Roop's. Mother and father are coming home tomorrow. You don't want to be tired when they get here, do you? Roop shrugged with his whole body. But I want to hear the story again, he said in a sing-song whine. Good try, Nara, Bedrin thought, glancing at the large oval chronometer set above the hearth. Perhaps it would be faster just to tell the story again than to argue with the boy for the next hour. Children, they seemed to possess an innate power that could rival a Jedi's. Because this is your last night staying with me, I'll tell you the story once more, but as soon as I'm done, it's off to sleep. Does everyone agree to these terms? Nara and Frim nodded to convey their agreement while Roop bounded forward and hugged Bedrin's legs. Struggling to keep upright, Bedrin patted the boy on the head and then eased himself back into his cushioned chair. Nara and Frim had already taken their normal positions on the couch, facing the hearth, as Roop climbed into Bedrin's lap, twisted into what was a comfortable position for him, unfortunately for Bedrin, and snuggled his head into the crook of Bedrin's arm. Are we all settled? Bedrin said. Good. Now let's see. How does the story begin? A long time ago, before there was a galactic republic, Roop prompted. Bedrin glanced down at the lad. Are you sure you need me to tell the story? Roop nodded enthusiastically. Then you'll let me tell it. He paused a moment to give Roop enough time to say something, but the boy remained silent, as it should be. Now, a long time ago, before there was a galactic republic.
I hope you've enjoyed this reading of The Advent of Hyperspace Travel 